Solve for theta. Round answers to two decimal places. First, solve for the reference angle for each question. Ignore the sign. Simply using the sign of the reference angle equals 0 0.7 for the first question. We then use the inverse sign to calculate the reference angle. For the first question, it would be reference angle equals the inverse sign of 0 0.7. We then determine which quadrants the terminal arm could be in. This is based on the sign of the trigonometric function. Recall we can use the rule cast starting from quadrant 4 and going C, A, S, T corresponding to the positive values going counterclockwise from quadrant 4. We can also use starting from quadrant 1 the little rule all students take calculus or we can just simply base it on the signs of x and y within each of the quadrants using the definitions for sine, cosine, and tangent. We then calculate the angles in each quadrant corresponding to the reference angle. Recall that for quadrant 1, the angle corresponds simply to the reference angle. In quadrant 2, the angle theta equals 180 degrees minus the reference angle. In quadrant 3, 180 degrees plus the reference angle. And in quadrant 4, 360 degrees minus the reference angle. So for part A, sine theta equals negative 0 0.7. We take our reference angle as being sine inverse of 0 0.7. This gives a reference angle of 44.43 degrees. In this case, we know that sine of theta is less than zero or negative. This corresponds to a terminal arm in quadrants three and four. We then figure out our answers for theta as 180 plus the reference angle corresponding to quadrant three 224.43 degrees and in quadrant 4 360 degrees minus the reference angle resulting in 315.57 degrees for question B 3 cos theta equals negative 1 we've simply moved the plus 1 over to the right side of the equation and then dividing both sides by 3, we get cosine of theta equals negative one-third. We figure out the reference angle using inverse cosine of positive one-third. This gives a reference angle of 70.53 degrees. In this case, cosine of theta is less than zero or negative. This corresponds to terminal arms in quadrants 2 and 3. The angles in standard position then, first of all in quadrant 2, 180 degrees minus the reference angle, giving 109.47 degrees. And in quadrant 3, 180 degrees plus the reference angle, resulting in 250 0.53 degrees.